Good morning, good afternoon, good day, wherever you're watching from. This is Dr. Nandy. I hope you're doing great today. It's bright and sunny here. I hope the weather at your place is great. For those of you who do not know me, this is Dr. Nandy. I frequently go live on YouTube and I have a YouTube channel where I have uploaded all kinds of math problems, solutions. I have also some fun videos to watch, some travel videos. So if you get a chance, please visit my YouTube channel. And if you like the videos, please give me thumbs up. That means a really a lot to me. That motivates me to produce more interesting videos just for you. And if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. So without further ado, today we are going to continue on what we started discussing yesterday. We are trying to do a T test. We are trying to test for a population mean. Remember, in hypothesis testing, there are two hypothesis statements. One is the null, which is H sub zero, subscript zero. That means status quo. It usually contains the, or always contains the equal to sign. It is equivalent to, in a jury-based trial system, the defendant is equal to innocent. And the opposite is the alternative. This is also sometimes called test hypothesis. So like in a jury-based trial system, the jury looks for evidence presented by both sides of the court to make their decision. If the decision shows enough support for the alternate, which in a jury-based trial system is the defendant is not innocent or the defendant is guilty, then we support it if there is enough evidence for it and we reject the null, which is the defendant is equal to innocent. In statistics, we look for evidence from the sample data. So we collect the sample data, collect, in this case, we calculate the sample mean, sample standard deviation. Then we compare the sample mean to the value in the null hypothesis which in this case was mu equal to 90 and the student was claiming that the population mean score is less than 90. Sample size is 25, sample mean is 88, sample standard deviation is 10. So we do not know sigma, the population standard deviation. So we will calculate a test statistic, which is a characteristic of the sample. In this case, a T test statistic, not Z. We cannot do Z because we do not know population standard deviation. So in the formula for T, we compare the sample mean to the value in the num null hypothesis, hence mu sub zero. X bar is the sample mean minus how far the sample mean is located away from the value in the null hypothesis. That difference is divided by the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of X bar. Okay. And in this case, uh, when we plug in the values and do the calculation, T comes out as minus one. What does it mean? It means the sample mean is one standard deviation below the null hypothesis value of 90. Now, is this test statistic strong enough to provide support for the alternate? Let's see. So we will as we have found out, the test statistic is minus one. So if we draw the T distribution, this is your T distribution, that means probability distribution, okay? And the center in a T distribution, much like the Z distribution is also equal to zero. So if the center is zero, on the right of zero, we have positive values, on the left of zero, we have negative values. And in this case, we have calculated a test statistic of minus one. Again, test statistic is nothing but a standardized T-score. Why it is called standardized? Because it is divided by the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of X bar. And T is calculated as minus one. That means the sample mean is located one standard deviation below, below the uh, <coughs> population mean, which is at the center. Okay, so minus one. In this case, we can calculate a critical value. This is, a, of course, a left tail test. Left tail test. Why? 
because the rejection region is in the left ear. Our level of significance is 0 0.05. Okay, so this is point. Let's do it better. Uh, okay, something like this 0 0.05. Okay, and this is your critical value of T. But how do you find this critical value of T? Okay, in this case it will be T of 0 0.05. Why? Because the area to the left of it where we reject the null hypothesis. That area is equal to alpha, which is level of significance, which is given as 0 0.05. This is your alpha. This is pronounced as alpha. How much risk you're taking in rejecting 80 when it is true, okay? And so, let's find the critical value of T. So for that we will, because this is a T distribution, the degrees of freedom in a T distribution is important, which is sample size minus one. So our sample size is 25 minus one is 24, okay? Our alpha value, or area of rejection, alpha is area of rejection. Rejection is area in the left tail. Area in the left tail. Is alpha is equal to 0 0.05, that is given, okay? This is area of rejection or level of significance. Remember, level of significance is the maximum risk you are taking in rejecting H0 when it is true. That means we should not have rejected H0, but still we are rejecting H0. Therefore, we are making a wrong decision. So, for that, we have to go to TI-84. So, with TI-84, we will press second, then verse, is a key in the third row, then select number four, which is MT. Okay, so second button on the top left, then verse in the third row, then number four, MT. Area is area in the left tail, so type point zero five. Okay. And your degrees of freedom, we calculated sample size minus 1 is 24. Next, it asks for DF type 24, sample size minus 1. And then go on PEST. And when you are on PEST, you'll hit enter twice. Enter twice. Okay. So go to PEST, bring the cursor down on PEST and hit enter twice. And this critical value is... So T alpha, in this case negative T alpha, is equal to minus 1.711. So this value is minus T alpha minus, minus 1.711. And our test statistic, test statistic T is this is our test statistic, value minus one. Test statistic is statistic, that is the characteristic of the sample that we have got, is minus one. That is the sample mean is located one standard deviation below, negative sign means below the value in the null hypothesis. So notice the tail area is hashed, and the central area is not hashed. This is where we do not reject H0. Do not reject H0. We can write since T, that means the test statistic. In this case, since T equal to minus 1, which is greater than minus 1.1, Seven, sorry, minus one point seven one one. Decision is 
do not reject a zero do not reject a zero because the statistic is in the do not reject a zero so our decision is do not reject a zero so conclusion is do not support the alternate at alpha equal to 0 0.05 do not support H A. So last time we calculated the test statistic which is a characteristic of the sample that we gathered and that test statistic was minus 1 which means the sample mean of 20, uh, 28 is located one standard deviation below the negative sign tells below on the left of the population mean value in the null hypothesis this time we showed the critical value that is to the left of it is the rejection region the critical value in this case of t is minus 1.711 however minus 1 falls in the region where we do not reject h0 also minus 1 is greater than minus 1.711 which is a critical value hence decision is do not reject h0 and conclusion is at alpha equal to 0 0.05 we do not support h a because h0 stays okay this would be the case in the jury based trial system where they did not get enough evidence to support the alternate that the defendant is guilty therefore the decision was do not reject h0 which means the decision was do not reject the fact that the defendant is innocent because there was not enough evidence to support the alternate which is the defendant is guilty okay i stop here but this is not the end of it if you want to have any question please do not hesitate to shoot me a comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible if you like this video, please give me thumbs up. That really motivates me. And if you like this video, share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. Okay, I will see you later. Take care.